was one of the, the kind of newer faces here. I mean, could you have ever dreamed getting to Wembley so soon after arriving at a new club? Um, not at all, to be fair. I thought, if you, if you asked me that when I first came, you've got a, a chance of playing at Wembley. I thought you were a, an absolute joker, to be fair. But um, we're a couple of days to go now, and it's kind of sinking in a wee bit more. But we're playing at Wembley and looking forward to it. I assume this is the biggest game of your career. I can't think that you'll have played in any as big as this. Yeah, without doubt, to be fair. Um, the last biggest game was probably the Charlton game, so yeah, it's been it's been absolutely crazy since I've came down here. I've had three, four massive games since I've came, so it's been nothing at the scale that I've played it up in Scotland. It's been it's night and day. I mean, I played I think in front of four thousand people up at Dundee, and that was the most I've ever played in front. And now I've got a chance to play in front of maybe seven to eight thousand people. It's in, it's incredible. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's stuff you dream of to be fair. Yeah, I mean, a wee kid when you're running about a park with your mates and stuff and it's just stuff of dreams. Which can't have been that long ago, because <laughs> you're still a wee bairn aren't you? Well I might, might look a wee bairn but I'm 21 now so, <laughs> but still quite small. But yeah. uh, How has life been for you since coming down here? Because fans really have kind of attached themselves to you, why, why do you think that is? Um, to be fair, I, just, I give them all every game to be fair, um, no matter if I play good or bad, I'll still give 110%. And I think that the fans have kind of took to that and I've been overwhelmed at the support they've, they've gave me. So it's been absolute first-class support and I thank them for that. Mm -hmm.